Noelle and I are moving across the country by car, going from Toronto to Vancouver as we both start our independent lives together. We made it through three-fourths of the trip and finally reached Calgary. Last time we were in Calgary was the summer of 2019. The Calgary Tower was under construction so we had to miss out. This was a do-over for us. We decided to finally treat ourselves after five consecutive days of instant noodles. We're eating at the top of the Calgary Tower. We stayed the night at Medicine Hat which was two hours away from Calgary. We had to wake up super early to make the reservations for 12 p.m. You ready to eat? I'm hungry. Look what they gave us. Happy anniversary. So sweet. We were quite hungry, so we forgot to forgot to record the food, but I'm sure she'll post a photo of it. It's really good though. Food is amazing, outstanding. They have all the best um, ingredients that are all local, so it's quite special. They had tourist postcards at the bottom of the tower, so of course we had to get it. We wrote in it and stuck a stamp on it and mailed it away. We're off to Lake Louise. It was as beautiful as I last remembered. It's awesome because this time I can experience Alberta in the winter, although I must say I prefer the summer. Yay, we got a parking spot. Last time this whole place was filled up and we had to go get a shuttle. like no one here. We're back in bail. We were on our way to go to Jasper. It was getting dark quite rapidly. A half hour into the drive, it was pitch black. It was scary because we had another two hour drive up the mountains in the dark. I found a hostel on Google map that was half an hour away. When we got there, it was closed off and we did not know where we were going to sleep. It was too cold to sleep outside and it too dark to continue driving. We decided it wasn't worth it to drive another six hours to see three attractions. We turned back around and headed back to Lake Louise. There we at least know there was accommodation. So we were pretty much almost stranded. The cheapest room for this hotel was $169, but thankfully I had my bank card that gave me points, so I got it for free. I would not have paid that much. I would have slept outside and freeze to death. So this is our room. So we got our bathroom here. Nice and spacious. Dude, we are like sleeping in tonight and leaving when checkout is. We're gonna take advantage of this. The closest that was like $100 for a night it was like an hour away and it was like pretty dark, kind of creepy driving in that. And they even give us earplugs. Oh, there's the pool. There's the hot tub. Cool, we have a view of the pool. This, this man doesn't have his bathing suit and he's gonna go in his underwear. I'm exposing him. Hot tub for myself. <laughs> so yesterday we basically treated ourselves the whole time. We got amazing lunch and now we got amazing stay. gonna sleep outside. Our four liter water is frozen. You can see it moving around, but if I open the top, it's like rock hard. We're just going down this hill right now because we got the last sign. It says, welcome to British Columbia, Canada. The, base, bleh, the best place on earth and we're gonna be living there. <laughs> We 
We started making our way to British Columbia. We stopped at a random place with a beautiful view. Yeah, we were sliding around too much in the car. We were like freaking out because we were like gonna slide into a ditch. So we decided, yeah, let's not do that. Um, but instead we found a really nice pit stop. The water's almost freezing. See the mountains in the background too. So down here is the lake and we've it formed ice and we're just seeing how strong the ice is now. I don't know what the heck, Noel's just working out. Oh, I totally missed it. <laughs> Look at this pop popsicle, this thing that formed. It was like one small, oh, it looks like a boat. I think it was like an icicle and then it totally like just formed itself. What are you doing? Fishing? You fishing now? Get us a fish. <laughs> I'm coming through the slushy. The following is an MTV Cribs special presentation. Hi, welcome to my crib. And here is my home. Welcome. So welcome to MTV Cribs. And right now you're in my home. Okay, so right here I got my office space. I have my writing, journaling, some milk teas here just on deck and some teas just in case you get thirsty. I got my shoes down there, a jug of water here, some loose cheese or snacks, anything I want, and a little garbage bin right here. You don't mind the socks, I'm kind of just drying up. And over here, we got the liquid station. We got water and hot water, my wet naps on the side, and usually, I usually keep some crackers there, but I don't have any right now. And if we move back here, we have the mm. thermos, a giant thermos thing. I usually keep it down here, but we're using it right now, so that's the spot for it. And I know it looks super messy, but it's messily organized. So we got the, our duffel bag stuff with our clothes that we're gonna use during trips. And down there is actually my stuff that I'm bringing to Vancouver. On top are our pillows. And on this side is all the goodies. So right here, we got toiletry bag. It has all our toothpaste and body wash and all that stuff. And then I have the electronics bag back here. It has my camera items that are being squished and my tripod that we've been using. Our tent is back here. We actually tried sleeping outside the first night and we froze, oh wait, okay, we didn't try. We actually did sleep outside. You'll see a video on that and we froze our ass off. After that, we're like, never again. Our stuff freezes in the car. That's how cold it gets. It's like minus 16, almost like probably minus 30 by nightfall. And over here is our pantry. We actually reduced this a lot because we've been eating our pantry. We had a whole box of instant noodles, which we've been eating and now it's in a bag. And then down here is all my milk teas, my huge milk tea collection. And down here we have the butane gas cooker. Got more water down there. Still frozen. His extra sh slipper shoes and my sleeping bag. And my bag that I carry into if we stay in a hotel or whatever. I have like my computer and stuff in here. And, and I have an umbrella somewhere down there. But we haven't used it yet. We'll probably need it in Vancouver because it rains a lot there. That's everything in our house. We actually never slept in the car yet. We wanted to do that yesterday, but I think we would have froze our asses off because everything in the car froze. We're, we're, we're heading to Vancouver, so hopefully it'll get warmer and then we could sleep in the car for one night to save some money. We've been trying to do Airbnbs or motels and stuff. They're much cheaper. And then I'll do a, a whole separate video about how much we spent on the road. This is our house and we got a skylight too. 
Oh, and I also forgot to mention, in the trunk, we have all our lively stuff in there that we'll be using in Vancouver, but not at the moment. So that's why it's all back there. It's just basically a whole luggage of clothes and mm -hmm. a humidifier and... Just a few things, nothing crazy. And my clothes. I have a whole bin of clothes too and like my yoga mat. And if we need the bathroom, pick a spot. <laughs> On our way to Vancouver, we passed by a town called Revelostoke, where I met an Australian girl that recommended a waterfall called Moses Creek Falls. No signs telling us where to walk, and I'm just following this guy, following a trail. But we hear the waterfall. Oh, dude, it's gonna be so hard hiking up. This is so steep. Well, the other way back up. Well, the way. I didn't see no other way. Yeah, the road way. Longer. Oh, I see it. Kelowna is where we ended our night. Noel uses points with TD this time and only had to pay $10 for the room. We got one of the newer rooms. This is a new addition to their hotel. I mean, they're in. And... Whoa, it's actually among us. Bro, I can dance in here. Whoa, we got our own beds. I can dance and do yoga in here. Why are you gonna do that? Who the hell is your sock? 